All right, guys, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to reset a PVRS link that has been locked out. So with the new firmware, you cannot reset them manually. You can't reset them easily. You've got to kind of go through their whole entire network. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come into the machine here. We are going to come over here to the uh, rebus right here, and we're going to pull all that guy off. This has the code on the back that allows you, it's basically the password for the Wi-Fi. So once you've gone in and you've enacted, so just remember that's where that's at. It's on the back of that guy. And we're going to, sorry guys, all one-handed here, all by myself today doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over to our screen that has our rebus, okay? So we're going to go over here to rebus. That's our battery, our rebus, it's disabled. We're just gonna hit the center button and we're gonna go down here to installer tool. We're going to click onto the installer tool and we're gonna hit confirm installer tool, okay? This will allow it to pump out the Wi-Fi, okay? So once we've got the Wi-Fi pumped out, we're gonna go over to the system that is having troubles um, now you can call at this point, it's a little easier, but what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to, uh, you're going to go ahead and go over. You do not have to enable the rebus. You just have to hit that and allow it to actually connect. Okay. So then we're going to go over here to our inverter. Now I've already reset all these, but normally right here where it says making power, we'll say PVRS lockout. You're going to go ahead and click on to it, you're gonna disable it. This is really important. You're gonna disable it, okay? Once it's disabled, then you can go in and take a look at this guy on your screen, on your phone, okay? Now I have two phones here, and I hate to tell you this, but this one's a little cracked up, so we're just gonna have to kinda go with it. We're gonna come up here to our Rebus beacon on our Wi-Fi. So we go into our Wi-Fi settings. We're gonna click onto that guy, okay? And we're gonna type in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect to it. And then we're gonna go to Google Chrome and we're going to type in 10.10 or 10.10.10.10. So four sets of tens, as you can see across the screen there. This is gonna take you to the installer toolkit we're going to go ahead and hit the drop down button right here at the very top. There's a little three little tabs there. Go ahead and click onto that guy. We're going to go over here to our PV links. Now, how do we know which PV link it is that's having troubles? We're going to come back up here to our screen. We're going to hit the center button. And that tells us that this is C4. Okay, is the last two digits. You can read off the whole one. You can see the whole thing there. We're going to come back down here. We're going to look for the one that ends in C4, which is going to be this guy right here. And we're going to just go ahead and click on that. We're going to go to PV link settings. Okay. We're going to go down here to the very, very bottom. And we're going to go here to clear PVRS lockout. Okay. So that's this guy right here at the bottom. Let's see if I can get her to work here. And it will come up with clear lockout. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit clear. Okay, cleared errors. We're going to hit submit at the very bottom. Sorry, guys, kind of jumping around there. Hit submit. That's that one right there on the bottom. We're going to hit submit. It's going to clear out all, any of those. And then we're going to come in here and make sure that our SNAP RSs detected and received are the same. Now, if they're different, what we need to do is go up on the roof and make sure that these are the right numbers. So basically what we're seeing is that we wanna make sure that there is actually seven on this string and that we need to make sure installed matches the detected. So if it detects nine, and it usually will say like six here, usually one off, that's kind of when the one that had a problem, the SNAP RS popped, it only shows that we only installed six of them, which is wrong. We installed all of them and we went back and fixed it. So you might have to check that. It's real easy to do it. Just click on it and, you know, just hit on. It's not a, this one, but it will actually say, um, 
sorry, we're gonna go down here to uh, this. We'll have to, uh, you know, erase it, add what it is, and hit submit again. So we're gonna go ahead and hit submit. Then we can go back into the main screen and re-enable it, okay? So we're gonna come into the main screen here. We're gonna come down here and here to enable, but we're not gonna enable with regular, we're gonna enable with PVRS, auto config with PVRS. We're gonna hit confirm and confirm it. Okay, it's enabled. Now we've gotta do testing. Now if you don't change those numbers, you will get a PVRS mismatch. You have to disable it to get it to work, okay? So once you've got all that done, you can go ahead and, should be testing here in a second. Sorry, this takes a little bit longer, guys. Once that's all tested, it's gonna say past, you know, that your uh, your PVRS link is all working properly. Let me see if I can get that screen a little clearer for you guys. Sorry about that, it's kind of a, always a weird one with the uh, Generax there, it's a little, a little flirty there. So once you guys have got that done, it takes a couple seconds for that to happen, and then you're all good to go. Remember, this is, uh, you'll have to go in there, get your Wi-Fi first, then get your code off the rebus, which is underneath, right in there. That's that guy right there. Okay, not the, not the, uh, the comms kit but the actual rebus right there, and it's on the back side, so you have to pop that off the wall and read the directions off there. Once you've got that, then you can go ahead and come in here, disable the PV link, get the PV link number that you need by, like I said, just hitting the center button there. It tells you that's your, PVR, that's your PV link uh, number that's, that's gone bad, or PV, uh, PV link that has a bad one on there. So then or a bad snap RS on there. Then go ahead and get out of there. And what you should end up with, see it says connecting input, connecting to rebus, making power. So then you'll see, once you're all done with all of them, you'll see the green light, green light, and the blue light, meaning everything's okay, okay? So again, you will use the rebus to get inside of your Wi-Fi, you'll find it on your Wi-Fi, click onto it. It is capital letter sensitive, so remember you have to add it in capital letters, the password. Then it will either, if you've already got it in here, like I have it in this phone, or you've already got it on your, um, you'll have to actually go to Google, click onto Google, open a new app, or a new uh, link there. You're going to go ahead and do 10.10, dot 10 dot 10 four tens three dots that will allow you to take you into the pv link hit the little stripes on the top here you know once you've got that done that gives you all your pv links find the pv link that's bad repair what you need to repair on it remember it's under pv link settings and you're all set this is the new way that has to be done because they've locked out the ability for us to change it easily. And you have to be on site to do it. You can't do it over the app or all the installer toolkit. So uh, if you guys have any questions, remember guys, this is for review only. These are not for you to be going out there and resetting your systems that are not uh, redone. You know, you can actually cause a fire that way. So let's say that you go out there and you do this without replacing the, the PV links, you can actually cause a, that's a possibility of a fire issue because you're resetting it and telling it, go ahead and reconnect. The reason it is shut down is because it has found itself to be unsafe. So you're coming out, you have to replace the PV links before you do this. And you must replace every PV link to the new O2 series. The O1s are the ones that are having troubles. The O2 series are the ones that are actually going to correct themselves uh, they've corrected the problem, and they're really working well now. But if you do replace one, replace them all on that string. And if you're replacing one on one string, you might as well just replace them on every single one on the roof and replace all the O1s with the O2s. So if you guys have any questions, remember, do not do this unless you replace PV links. Do not do this unless you're a certified installer. 
and this is for review purposes only, not to help you break the rules or change things, but it's a, it's a good idea to do this. Um, afterwards, you'll see a lot of those errors, those lockout errors. This is the only way to do it. So as always, guys, have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.